Hello, I'm Patrick Wright with Pay Good Homes. Thank you for joining us today. It's a little overcast, but it is uh, pretty warm uh, here in southeastern North Carolina. We are at Cindy and Howard uh, Home uh, in St. James, and it's a Shack of Her Banks Canta Garage. It's a very, very popular plan. The canted version of, of many of our homes is a very popular alternative. Uh, this is one of our most popular houses. It's got tremendous value for the price. It's got incredible livability to it. And we've got several different variations. We have a Shackler Banks front load, Shackler Banks uh, courtyard, Shackler Banks side load, and obviously a Shackler Banks with a can of garage. We even have a Shackler Banks um, that has a walkout balcony on the second floor. So it's a really, really great plan. Some of the consistent things you'll see, maybe if you folks tuned in yesterday um, to um, our live feed, um, is once again, the big porches. Troy Kenny and Jim Kenny uh, own the company. Uh, Jim oversees all the operations of the company. Uh, Troy is, is the mastermind. She's the person that has the vision, the talent, and comes up with these incredible home plans. And this is another great example of that. You can see the symmetry. We talked yesterday a little bit about the symmetry of, and the balance of our home. So this is another great example. This porch and this front roof is a really large. And what she's done is she's created these double pedestals or pedestals to be able to hold the double columns on top. And once again, we talked yesterday about the, the size of them and how they allow the view corridors through the windows. They don't obstruct anything. In this house, as we get to the front porch, we'll talk about the front door, but this, this plan in particular has what I call a door and a half. It's a 42 inch door versus a 36 inch door, which is very, very common. And an easy trademark to see in a good house is always gonna be an eight foot front door. And then certainly a six foot window. We talked yesterday also about the garage doors. And as I said yesterday, it's an easy way to see or notice a hey good home when you're driving around the community. They're always gonna be eight feet tall, okay? Provides a nice balance to the rest of the tall features in the house. In this house, much like the house yesterday, they're nine feet wide. So you can pull a car in and out, open your doors without worrying about hitting your spouse's cars or getting out or unloading the groceries, things of that nature. Okay. This house has a dormer uh, over the uh, garage. We call it a frog. It's a good question. Maybe a question, uh, Mackenzie, we could throw out there a little prize. Uh, what does the acronym frog mean? If you know, certainly uh, reach out to us and we'll share a little prize with you. But it's got a, it's got a great frog and you can see the oversized five foot windows upstairs. So. This also is unique and people like this option as well because you can have a really nice front yard. Uh, grass, landscaping, and bushes onto your left, okay? We spoke yesterday about the people, the process, and the product. And this is another good example of the, the landscaping and how we consider landscaping of vital uh, importance for the finishing look of the home. We have a landscape architect who works with all of our clients to really come up with a perfect ideal, ideal plan, depending on how much they want to putz in the yard or how much they don't want to putz or uh, the location of the sun and things of that nature. It does a very, very good job with that, okay? And then we can obviously uh, take our driveway and we can angle the driveway um, different ways depending on where the house sits. As you see, this house sits in the end of a cul-de-sac. So Cindy and, and uh, Howard wanted to keep a big front yard. They're going to come in and we're leasing this home back. They're going to come back in and uh, plant some additional bushes and, and shrubs once they move in and take occupancy. But let's go inside. Also, I forgot yesterday, I may not have said it, but all of our homes have a brick foundation. It is the standard included feature. We're going to talk today also about the differences uh, and really dwell on the differences and what makes Haygood uh, a builder that uh, comes into it with a better plan, a better process, and obviously the better people. But not, we're not doing any kind of stucco or parging. We're going with a, with a timeless and a very, very durable uh, brick uh, foundation. Uh, this is... Uh, our shell, crushed shell finish, um, very similar to a tabby that you would see uh, in certainly Charleston or down south um, where the seashells are actually fixed to the foundation of the outside of a, an elevation. But very, very durable, nice in case it gets a little bit uh, humid or wet or rain. It's obviously not very uh, slick at all. We talked yesterday about the entablature. This is once again, even though this is a white house, 
Um, we've a, a Troy's gone ahead and created this beautiful, beautiful entablature that really frames in this big oversized door. And then we do the window sills. We do the, the trim pieces on top of the windows. All of our windows in our homes have window sills and are trimmed out. It's a one again, one again uh, a, a difference. We use material called James Hardy. A Hardy material is a composite material using Hardy, but they um, may not always use James Hardy. They're the innovators of James Hardy. We use it exclusively on the outside of the homes. Uh, beyond the fact that it's a really stable product, it doesn't have any issues with termites or any kind of mold rot, James Hardy has, has patented the formulation of this product, so it holds paint for a very, very long time, living down the and make the house look really, really nice. Our ceilings are always going to be vinyl. It's a vinyl beadboard. We use that on the front and rear porch, and that's really... It's, most people think it's a beadboard, which looks very similar to a wooden beadboard. It's a painted product, but it's zero maintenance, okay? Just hose it off and you're good to go. So let's go on inside. Isn't this amazing? This first floor of this house, I probably should ask a question, is uh, right around 2,000 square feet. It is a three-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath. It is a split plan, meaning that the master bedroom is on one side, the guest bedroom is on the other. But for a first floor to have 2,000 square feet with all of this expansive living is a very, very uh, unique situation. In this house, many of our clients will prefer to have a dining room. Troy has delineated this space with having a soffit that runs here in the foyer to help say that, to help people understand that this is the dining room and that is the foyer. There's also a great option, which many people are doing, which is making this into an office. It's becoming a very popular feature. Uh, if you tuned in yesterday, you saw that the Portsmouth Island was designed from scratch to have an office and then relocate the dining room. And this is a great feature in this house is you actually have the ability of maybe having a more formal dining room here and a less formal sitting room, Carolina room, morning room, um, whatever it may be back there. But you have some options. So if you wanted to go ahead and make this into an office, and the doors could be both off the foyer, obviously it's going to be an eight-foot door, or we can come down here, much like the, the Portsmouth Island, and we can do the eight-foot pocket doors, very, very similar to create a nice little office in here, okay? This, this space right here is about 10 by 12, so certainly uh, really nice. Oversized windows, okay? Wainscoting uh, in uh, the dining room, the foyer, things of that nature. Yesterday we talked about different ceilings, okay? We know that um, all of our ceilings in our house are going to be a minimum of 10 feet, okay? Uh, yesterday we talked about the, the effect of what a cathedral ceiling could do to the livability of a house. Troy was masterful in creating a, a cathedral ceiling in the great room, the kitchen, they ran north and south, and then taking that and turning it 90 degrees and running it east-west in the dining room. And then we saw the, the screen porch, which is my favorite room in that house, which has that cathedral ceiling with the open uh, side and open screen in the back. But this is another great example. We call this a volume ceiling. And Kansas, you can kind of see where all the blue is. It's very easy to delineate the 10-foot element in this house. But what she's done is she's taken um, a tray ceiling. It's kind of an old-fashioned, kind of a square looking. And she's improved that and made it softer. And she's brought the edges, the four corners, if you would, up to a flat part. So the, the top of the ceiling is at 12 feet, and the, and the bottom of this ceiling is 10 feet. So it's a nice little detail. Okay, those are also included into a Hagen Hall. Okay, as we come into the great room, this house has incredible symmetry and balance. We look at, at the, um, the buildings, they are five foot buildings. We took the buildings to the ceiling, we have three adjustable shelves, cabinets here, drawers, drawer here. Certainly, put all of your things in it. Uh, Cindy and Howard decided to go with a brick detail or a surround around their oversized fireplace. It's certainly an option. And another uh, option 
is um, to take in the hardwoods all the way up to the, up to the fireplace. It's very, very, um, we talk about uh, people's selections. It's probably a good time to talk about, once again, beyond myself, who helps you uh, walk the property, uh, look at the building envelope, determine if there's any encumbrances that would prevent us from placing the house where you want, or trees that we may want to keep uh, or take down. Uh, the next evolution would be our, our interior designers. Uh, Kenzie, who's behind the lens right now, uh, and also Selena do a phenomenal job. Um, our selection process is a three-day process, and the way we've set it up is that you have ample number of options that are all included. It's a very different business model than any other builders who will limit those options, so you may have to spend more money on upgrades, okay? Cindy and Howard were very adamant um, that they wanted to, to stay in budget, and they actually did um, because of the selections that they, that they, uh, they chose, okay? Oversized nail. Uh, behind this picture will be a TV, okay? Um, and certainly our HDMI uh, and uh, surround sound, okay? Ceiling fans um, and such. Can lighting and then the surround sound speakers. They're very, very balanced, okay? As we pan over to the kitchen. The only thing I know about kitchen design is called the, the trial. But thankfully, we've got Mackenzie and Selena and we have Rachel with our, our trade partner, Marcraft, and they're gonna design all of your cabinets. They're gonna help you design uh, the layout of your cabinets and countertops and such. And this is a great example of how we offset or how they offset the kitchen sink. You know, this island is nine feet, six inches long. I mean, look how long this is. And by the way, uh, if I can, before I forget, a little shout out to uh, Troy's aunt, Mary Virginia Freeman. She is our interior designer of all of her models. She does a beautiful job. People just rave when they walk into their houses. They say they just feel so little. And um, it's not ornate, it's not over the top. It's just, and this is a great example of just, but she was insistent on putting this, this hog, I guess, on the countertop. And, um, I just want to give her a little shout out. Uh, it's a nice conversation piece. But back to back to the counters and, and the design. So the the, the island is, is uh, nine and a half feet by four feet. And what Cindy and Howard wanted to do is to offset this. They wanted to create a serving area uh, to be able to, to to function and work with the dining room. So we offset that. Okay. They went with a very popular wall oven and microwave combo. Okay. Upper cabinets, lower cabinets, our LED lights are all included. Went with a herringbone pattern. Um, this has become kind of a little popular option. It's just, all it is is just a subway tile. It's just done at an angle. Okay. They went with a stainless steel hood. We spoke yesterday. This is also a good time to do this. We're taking and exhausting all of our appliances and our fireplace and our bathroom fans outside. There is no recirculation air, especially in our, in our hoods or microwaves, into back into the house. What you could say is, is you're asking, well, where is the duct? Where is the, the soffit that would go to the ceiling? Hey, good's different. We call it the hey, good right way. Um, is that we're taking this exhaust, going back into the wall, and then taking it up to the ceiling. Very, very unique. But if you can see, it doesn't take away from how beautiful the upper part of that uh, cabinets are. Some builders and other options would be to put something that's kind of intrusive looking, but it's kind of inconsistent. This is also a, a, one of our planes that allow you to expand the prep area on either side of the cooktop. Okay, speaking of appliances, we have another great trade, trade partner, Atlantic Appliance with Wayne, and he helps you select your appliances. Very different than walking into a Home Depot or a Lowe's and things of that nature. He's going to ask you questions, much like I would or any of are um, any of our other people that are working with you. How do you live? How much do you cook? What do you cook? How much do you entertain? Uh, certainly they've gone with the electric cooktop, exhaust, but this plan allows you to locate the refrigerator over to here. A lot of the clients will also adapt and put a, um, a beverage cabinet in this 24 inch pan here. So this kind of becomes a, a wet bar if you would prep any kind of wine glasses or things of that nature, or a coffee bar over here. But if you look at this, look at all this space. I mean, you've got uh, three feet of prep area plus a nine and a half foot island. Very, very nice, okay? Um, 
We come back around here, Kenzie, if you would. One of the other things that we're always consistent on is we always want to maintain a four-foot distance between the island and the kitchen, okay? Um, it's just something that, it's a difference, so that if you're opening up the fridge, or opening up the dishwasher, you can still get around, or if you have two, two or more people, you can still function in the kitchen very, very easily, okay? Um, we come in and transition into um, this room. As I said before, this could be a secondary casual dining area, a morning room. We call it a Carolina room for obvious reasons. Um, another, another question for anyone that's listening is what's significant about the names of our homes? Um, there's something that anyone that has looked through our website will notice that the names are very unique. Okay? It's something that Troy started doing back in 1996 when she and Jim started the company. She started naming her homes for something unique. Um, and uh, if you know anything about North Carolina, you know, it's pretty easy. But this house would take, in particular, um, Shackover Banks. And no, you can't Google it. Um, it stands for something, and it's a really interesting story if you have a chance to uh, look into it. But this room is, once again, a casual morning room, sunroom, or a Carolina room. Okay, uh, it's large enough to where you could make it into a dining room, like we spoke before. It's 12 feet wide, uh, and, and make that into an office. Or the way Mary Virginia set it up, it's just a kind of a real casual area. Okay, oversized windows. And while we're here, we'll talk about the windows again. If you look at the windows, you can see the way they are. Much different than other other builders and how they do them is that we use individual windows. Uh, Troy's insisted on doing a six-foot window, and she spaces them so they're very balanced between the top and the, and the bottom. You can see we have a two-foot uh, area below the windowsill and two-foot above. Okay, But our windows are a Ply Gem series, 1500 series. They're a vinyl vinyl window. Vinyl vinyl, zero maintenance, folks, nothing. Okay, They're, gonna, they're warranty for 20 years. They're obviously uh, two panes of glass. They are low E, but they're also argon gas. We'll talk a little bit more about energy efficiency when we get to the rest of the house, but very, very unique. They do have double latches, and then certainly different grill patterns. This happens to be a four, one, two, three, four over one, and there are other options available. But this is a double stud pocket, so it's trimmed, and uh, behind it is two two by fours, okay? And trimmed out. It's a very finished look, and not the entire house. And it's also more structurally rigid. How is that different than other windows with other builders and other houses? Great question. It's not, the less expensive way to do it is to make a big cutout. So you would basically cut this whole area out and you would buy a window that's all welded together, okay? We would call it a triple because there's three windows. So you'd have this heavy plastic basically butting the two windows up. It's all plastic, okay? Um, is it nice? Certainly. Is it as good as what we do? No, it's, it's the good right way to do it. So individual windows, structurally more rigid and certainly far more aesthetically pleasing with having a nice detail here with the window sill. And I said before, we also do window sills on the outside of the house. Our homes do come with screens, okay, um, and such. In this, in this room also, um, interesting is that uh, we wanted, they wanted to do a nice cathedral ceiling to give it a little bit more punch. Certainly that's an option for some people. Our standard uh, uh, base moldings will be a, a seven and a quarter inch. And while we're down on the ground, I guess this is a good opportunity to talk about our flooring. Much like the house yesterday, this is a hickory floor. It is a standard five inch width. Uh, and this floor is also a hand scrape. Kenzie, if you want to shoot that, it's kind of nice, catches some light. The hickory is a really durable wood, folks. Uh, we offer many other woods. But uh, consider a hickory is, a, is like an axe handle or a shovel handle. Um, they're very, very durable with the hand scraped effect. Uh, kind of hides any kind of blemishes. And then certainly this hickory has some natural kind of like real interesting aspects of it. It's just kind of like an old floor in a brand new house. Very, very nice. Are there other options if people don't like hickory, like oak Absolutely. or maple? We've got, we've got several, several, many different options. We've got many different wood species. So we're just going to talk about the wood species, and then we can talk about the color. And then some people will go with a different width. There are seven inch, nine inch widths available. There would be a slight charge for those. But it's nice is that you have two design coordinators that are going to help you coordinate how it's going to look. 
We also, we also do what's called a mood board. So when you're done with your selections, Mackenzie and Selena put together all the colors and all the fixtures and the countertops and the cabinets and the hardware and all that stuff, and they give you a personalized packet so you can visualize how your house is gonna look. Uh, Rachel also will do a 3D virtual uh, view of your cabinets, okay? So you can actually understand how they're gonna look in the symmetry. This is a great example. Look how sym symmetrical this uh, kitchen is right here. She has the drawers, she's got a drawer here, here, and then she has the big dish drawers down here. Our cabinets, our cabinets are always gonna be, let me get a better cabinet here. Our cabinets are always gonna be full extension. They're always gonna be maple cabinets. Not a, not a softer wood like a basswood, maple cabinets. They're going to be a dovetail construction, and they're all going to be a soft close. Many different hardware options, many different profiles, many different colors, okay, that are available. Once again, the design coordinator is going to help you pick all that stuff out. So this area here is about 18 by 20. Give an idea. As you walk in the room, it's just wide open, whether you have an office here or not. A great room. She's got a large couch here, two end tables. This is also, we do two floor outlets. You know, why? Because you're always going to have typically two lamps. Okay? Two floor outlets. Okay? They're very nice. Let's go over to the master bedroom. Hey, good difference. Solid eight foot doors. Okay? Hardware is either going to be a brushed nickel or an old rub bronze. No, we don't charge you more for a, a, a lever a knob, but a solid door, okay? But beyond the, the durability aspect, it's really going to be much more quiet than, than, a, than a hollow door. We have an eight foot here. We've got an eight foot called a case opening, okay, that comes into here in the master bedroom. Isn't this spectacular? Crown moldings in um, the master bedroom, any flat ceiling in, on the first floor. Um, they chose to go ahead and add a bay window. What an effect that is. People ask me what, the, what a pediment is. And a pediment is a detail that we add to the top of the slider or focal windows in the house. And this is obviously a focal window. So we go ahead and we do a nice little wood detail. This is really, really uh, spectacular because it plays off of the double stud pockets. It's just a finished look with the window sills. Okay? They did a very light color. And by the way, I don't do colors, but Selena and Kenzie do a wonderful job. So thankfully, you don't want my advice on that. Okay? Ceiling fans. Ceiling fans uh, and, and light kits are included in every room in our house. They are double switched and blocked. Okay, so now you don't have to pull the chain. You actually can come over and do that. You also get to meet with our electrician. Um, actually sit down with them and talk about adding any additional can lights or doing any kind of sconces. Some of our clients like to have some sconces that are here, okay? Some clients don't like to have the window here because of furniture placement and such. So we can sort of change the windows. That's relatively easy. And then you're also meeting with our low voltage engineer. And here's a good example. It's not very pretty, but it's a good example of meeting with your low voltage engineer and talking about the placement of your TVs and your cable connections. We use a CAT 5E. We terminate all of our wires into a panel, which I'll show you in another one of the closets. But Cindy and Howard wanted to go ahead and have a TV here at the foot of their bed. And we were able to accommodate that right here instead of having run a cord <laughs> or something up from the ground. It's a very nice feature. They also chose to put hardwoods in this master bedroom. It's, it's an upgrade, it's an, it's an option, but it's a very common, not very expensive. They chose it just kind of continues the look from the great room to the, to the master bedroom. Okay? I've got two favorite rooms in this house, and this is one of them, okay? And this is the incredible master bathroom and master shower. Some people call this a Roman shower, okay? But it is a true walk-in shower, no door. 
The amazing thing about this bathroom that people love is look at the windows. This is a cloudy day for us in, in Southeast North Carolina, but even in this room, they're, they're picking up all this natural light coming through these three two-foot windows into this incredible shower. How fun is this? Our daisy head is all included. They chose, like many of our clients, to do um, a handheld. I had a client that reached out to me after the video yesterday and asked me some more questions about it. And, and I thought maybe an opportunity. This is not a, one you're going to see that attaches to the shower head. This is actually a very nice model. So beyond the fact that you can move it up and down, okay, it also comes off. Okay? So cleaning or, God forbid, you get hurt, your leg, whatever it may be, you put a chair in and you can still take a shower, okay? But this is a, a nice feature. Uh, if you didn't want to wash your hair every day, you can certainly turn this down and just take a shower without washing your hair. And if you come around here, you'll see, Kenzie, this is what's called a diverter and then the temperature and flow. In our homes, very unique and different is that you can operate the shower head or the handheld or both at the same time. Nice little feature, okay? If you really wanted more of a car wash effect, you can turn them both on and really enjoy it. Our standard shampoo niches, and we talked about our roll-in showers. Just a wonderful space. It's about three by six, okay? Um, but certainly let the glass provide all the light. You know, see, we talked about before. We take our tile up to the ceiling or above the windows, okay? It just finishes it out so much better. You get to pick your tile, certainly. Uh, in this shower, they went with a little different floor tile than the wall tile, but it matches. Um, this is going to be a shiny finish, and, it's, and, the, and the floor is going to be more of a duller finish, and it's obviously not as slippery as the wall tile. All right? <laughs> and then we come into here. This is, folks, nine feet. It's almost the same size as our kitchen island, okay? Nine feet. So if you don't want to share a vanity with your spouse, um, you don't have to, okay? You've got your own set of drawers, okay? Um, own set of cabinets, but you have your own space. And many times, um, some of our clients will want to do what's called a drop-down. Drop-down is a way that if you wanted to put makeup on, so we would take this space, it's 24 inches, we would come into here, and we would just basically make a little kind of a, a drop down, you can put a, a little stool underneath there and put another mirror. It's a nice one. This is one of the houses that you can do that and it, it costs zero. The mirrors again are all included. They're oversized LED black backlit window, or backlit mirrors. They're wonderful, okay? We do granite in, our, in um, our bathrooms that is included in standard. Um, they chose to also do is a surround sound and put a speaker in the bathroom, which is kind of cool when you think about it. Uh, getting ready or whatever, listen to some music, it's kind of nice. We do an eight inch spread, which is a, which is a separate hot and cold in the faucet. They chose to go with a, tr a trench sink or a square sink. We talked about cabinets being the same, very, very different. In fact, is that our cabinets in the uh, kitchen are the same quality as the cabinets in the bathroom. They're going to be full extension, they're going to be dovetail, they're going to be soft close, okay? We do not go with this uh, inexpensive rail cabinet in, in the, our bathrooms. We have a true water closet, okay? With a window. Look how bright that is. And then if you can't see, Kenzie, can you shoot down there next to the, next to the toilet? The toilets are a comfort height. They're elongated bowls, but this is a good way uh, this one actually you can see pretty well, but the water supply line that's coming out of the wall in all of our fixtures um, in the kitchen bathrooms and such are all going to be braided stainless steel That is a hey good right way of doing things. Okay, it's not going to be PVC or plastic That's typically where they crack or break um, Shoving something underneath the cabinet or kicking it or hitting a mop with it, but you'll never have any kind of issues with that at all So beyond this incredible bathroom and with a 10-foot ceiling, I'm sorry is that this closet is the bomb, okay? You can get lost in this. In fact, if you really have a hard time, you could probably rent this out to a small family, but can't you stay right there, and I'm gonna come in and go all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. I'm way down here. It's good for hide and seek. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Oh, goodness. So, um, this is incredible, <laughs> incredible uh, ca- uh, master closet. You get the ability of design the closet um, to what you kind of clothes you have, okay? Um, so depending on what kind of clothes you have, they've got it set up with lower racks, upper racks, okay? Certainly this could be her closet area, this could be his closet area, certainly a, a, a lot of space. Put a mirror here, you could do a lot of nice features with this, okay? And then Kenzie, come around and you'll look at uh, the linen closets. It's a nice, nice, big, big room. All right. Can lights. No, no fluorescent lights in our house. They're all going to be can lights or disc lights. All righty. So the master bathroom of a Shack of her Banks um, Canton house. And while we're here, we, we can talk about this as an energy. Our homes are all uh, heated and cooled with a 15 seer train XR series. Very, very super high efficient system. Train, everyone talks about running like a train. There is no better HVAC system by a train. If you haven't lived in Southeast North Carolina, our systems run a lot during the summer and not having a really high efficient uh, system or, or certainly having uh, the right insulation is gonna cost you a lot of money. This is an option that many of our clients will do. We have two zones in your house, one on the first floor, one on the second floor. That is standard. But many of the clients are going adding, adding a third zone to the master side of the house. And I think we spoke yesterday a little bit, but if you have one of, the, one of the people like to watch TV out in the great room and one of them like to come in and read or watch TV in the bedroom, you can close the door and you're still going to get the HVAC flow uh, into this room, okay? It's actually going to save you money because the system's not going to work as hard. It's going to know that this side of the house is hotter or colder, hotter or cold. Um, and also, uniquely different is that we don't put our air returns in areas that you can see them. So if you're sitting out in the great room in the kitchen entertaining, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's going to be able to suck all the air into the, these all programmable thermostats and Wi-Fi compatible. All right. All right, let's go down the hallway and let's look at our pantry and our bathroom. Oversized pantries. People love oversized pantries. And when you walk in, you have a motion light. That's all standard. Solid shelving all the way around. Our trim carpenter uh, builds this on site. Okay, but you have a ton, a ton of space for anything you may need. Across the hall, you have a beautiful powder room. Okay. Pedestal sink, oval mirror, and a comfort height elongated bowl toilet. Same trim, same ceiling height. Okay, the rest of the house. But it's also, look where it's located. It's not located in the main living area. It's off the, offset here a little bit. So if you need to a guest or something needs to use the powder room, they're not having to kind of walk through the rest of the house. As we come down the hallway, and if, if you watched yesterday, you notice that the theme of many of Troy's homes is about light. It's about livability, and this is a great example. Yesterday, we looked at the Portsmouth Island. We talked about the windows and how big that space was. And here is, once again, a connection point from the house to the garage. But look at all the natural light that comes in this space. So we have a washer and dryer hook up here. We have a little drop zone. We've got a little utility closet, okay? Certainly, we could do some hooks to hang some leashes for dogs and things of that nature. But this is not going to affect in any way. I have had some clients that have gone ahead and put a folding table here on top. So we've had some front load washer and dryers with a folding table. It turns out really, really nice. In fact, there's a house on our website, heygoodhomes.com, and it's Sue and, and Al Albert's house, and it's a Shacker Banks three car. And it's also white, it's in St. James, and they did a beautiful job with, uh, with uh, designing uh, this with, with Troy and coming up with a really cool folding table and such, okay? So not a lot of natural light. 
And this is the bonus room. 42 inch. We spoke yesterday too a little bit about what Troy wants to do in terms of creating this openness. And here's another great example. Instead of just blowing the ceiling, she's opened it all the way up to the top. So you walk in and all of a sudden it's just like the first floor. You walk in and it's so wide open. This house is 2,480 square feet. So there's about 350 square feet that's upstairs. But this is a really great functioning room. Um, unlike some of our plans that have two rooms, this could be a bedroom, this could be a, a TV room, this could be a game room. You could put a couch and basically fold it out and have an extra spare bedroom. But look at all the amazing windows. Five foot windows bring all this natural light in. A nine foot ceiling. And once again, we have a certainly a ceiling fan light kit which is included. And then we have a full bath. All of this is included. We do not a la carte this. Uh, it's all included in our base prices. Uh, fiberglass uh, tub shower combo is included. Our 36 inch vanity, our, our culture marble tops with, with our uh, mirrors, and then once again our comfort light toilets. But look at the window. You know, who's going to put a window in a bath, full bathroom upstairs and above sir, besides Troy Kenny? And I say that to her with, with great affection. But it just changes that feeling of walking into a, into a bathroom in a bonus room. Very, very uncommon. We spoke yesterday about um, our attics and our spray foam. And we do do something completely different than any other builder that I'm aware of in St. James in our category. And that is we use open cell spray foam in our attics and in our exterior walls, okay? What that does, it very simply, first and foremost, is it is structurally rigid, it is sound deadening, it's gonna reduce the amount of dust that you have inside the house coming from the outside. It's gonna create a thermal break between the outside of the house and the inside. Um, it's, it's an amazing product in the sense that it's not gonna deteriorate over time, it's not gonna sag, but it's gonna reduce your energy bills by 40%. Uh, Jim's hired a company called EcoSelect and they come in and they, they do a, a checking of your home, and they verify that your home far exceeds the standards of a new home in Brunswick County. And when I say exceed, it's, it's pretty amazing. They come in and they inspect the, the construction of your home. The way we're framing our walls allows, allows us to shoot foam in behind the corners and in behind the intersections. They're called ladder tees or California corners, okay? Um, they also do a leak test on the house. Some of you may have watched a little HY, a DYI or, or a, a, this old house, but they put a blower on the front door to pull the negative pressure through the house, making sure there's no leaks. They also do a leak test on our HVAC system, which is really, really important because there's so many ducts in the house, and if there's a leak, you really won't know about it. But when that's all said and done, they provide every one of our clients with a HERS certificate. And that verifies that, that they've done a very thorough checking of all the construction materials, leak tests, and things of that nature. But they also provide um, is a yearly savings. And that's based on their algorithms and determining how big the house is and windows and things of that nature. Our homes on average are scoring in the 65 range. And what that really equates to is over $1,000 a year in savings in your house. It's not about building the, the, the house the fastest. It's not about building the house the cheapest. It's not about using inferior materials. It's about building a home that's gonna last and it's gonna not require a lot of maintenance and you're gonna be able to save some money with the home. This is an example of that difference and that is a full-size door walking into the attic, okay? We don't have any short doors. We don't have any pull-down stairs. And the attic, you can see, comes into here. And here's the spray foam, full attic access. Lastly is when we use the spray from the attic, if you haven't been down in the summer in, into St. James, it can get a little bit warm, folks, and the attics can get in 120 to 130 degrees. You can't keep anything in the attics. People may say you can't, but you really can't. Anything that you really want to keep or use um, has any kind of fabric and things to it. This is just too much, too humid. This attic in a Haygood home will stay plus or minus 80, 85 degrees. It's an extension, 200, 300 square foot of additional storage in your house that you get that's included, okay? So not only is it going to lower your energy bills, it's going to reduce any kind of dust. It's certainly going to prevent any kind of um, any, any issue sound deadening, but it's also a great storage area to walk into and put things in. 
We have no ridge vents to the outside along the top of our houses. We have no gable vents and no soft vents. We have a sealed house. We do supply fresh air in through our HVAC system that allows to modulate and kind of control the temperature. Not have any issues with opening a door even if you're running a hood, but it's a really game changer. People love this aspect about Hey Good, and that is taking the next step up to build a better house. All right, let's go downstairs. We're going to go over, Kenzie, to the guest side of the house. So as I said before, we have the split plan, the master on one side. And then we have the guest side of the house, completely separated, okay? In this room, it's about 12 by 12. We notice the same windows, we notice the same ceilings. The closet with wood ventilated shelves. In St. James, we don't use any wire shelving. It's all going to be wood ventilated shelving. Uh, as I said, we have a closet organizer. Amy and Aaron do a wonderful job with Shutterhawk design, and they're going to design your closets. Different color options, certainly in the wood ventilated shelving as well as in the solid shelving. And all of our rooms, once again, have double switches, one for the light and one for the ceiling fan in all of our houses. You notice the eight-foot doors. You notice that they're solid. Color-wise, um, many people like this option. I, I think it's wonderful. Many people identify Hey Good because offsetting colors. We do not charge you extra to do a different color on your doors, and so we don't charge you extra if you want to do white. It's not, uh, but this is a, kind of a trademark that we do. People really like it, and Selena and Kenzie can help you figure out what color is going to complement that. This is our shared guest bathroom. So we talked about the same quality cabinets, culture marble top, integrated bowl, frame mirror. All of the accessories are always going to be included. And then uh, Cindy and uh, Howard chose to do uh, is a tiled shower called a surround and a, um, a ceramic uh, uh, bathtub. It's a soaking tub. Okay. We've got natural light coming in. We have a 10-foot ceiling, 8-foot door. Makes the bathroom really feel very, very large. And then lastly, we've got our back bedroom. 